Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lufia! Since last time, or, well, last time, Professor Shio gave us a boat and said he was heading west, so... Game? I was almost there. But anyway, uh, in the ocean, pretty much every enemy is weak to fire! So that's why I've got Jaren equipped with the flame ring, so that way she can pretty much one-shot anything with her flame spell, so it is ridiculously powerful in the ocean. Uh, we haven't gotten the sea ring yet, have we? Well, if you did, you could equip that on Adol or Aguro to get some better damage, but I don't care, so... Anyway, we've made it here to Carvis, also known as Shia Lab 3. How many labs does this guy have around the world? Wow. He must get a lot of funding from the kingdom or something, so... Eh, too intelligent. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Well, alright. Well, you did a crappy job! It's leaking and everything! Is anyone remotely competent in this world besides the main characters? And even they're not that competent, but, eh. Huh, an oil? Sure, why not? I don't trust uh, the professor's potions, but your oil, sure, why not? Yeah, I suppose I do. But you're still hungry. But yeah, they got a free in here, a free save, well, all save points are free, but, well, there was that one game where they charged you for saving, but that's different. But anyway, get them yourself, man! I've already done all the side quests and everything. After all the work I went just to find you? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. How would you know, Jaren? Don't answer that, viewers. Stop talking! Yeah, yeah, I mean, Luffy and I are the only ones who are supposed to be bickering. I mean, well, I suppose you two can pair off if you want to, but you, you get the baby, girl. I suppose it's better than uh, Neil and Eric uh, pairing together, but that was another game. So I guess we gotta head west to find this guy Cooper at Baku and uh, bring Tantalus back here. Or we could just get Cooper to help out, so... Guess how many dungeons we're gonna have to go through to find Cooper! <laughs> no, no, but actually there is a very, very, very good reason why you do not want to head to that town. If you do, you will regret it. Trust me on that one, viewers. So instead, we're gonna go exploring. So, uh, first thing that I want to do, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just use flame on those guys. That'll do well enough. But yeah, uh, one of the things that I want to do, now that we have the ship, we can pretty much go almost anywhere. So what I want to do is go to every town that I can, so that way, whenever you go to a town the first time, you'll be able to warp there each subsequent time. So I'm going to just uh, pick up all the towns for my warp spell, and that'll be that. So that way I can just warp there later. If you want to know where a town is later when I warp there, well, too bad. If you want to know how to get there, watch this video. But anyway, this is Ring Island. You see those little whirlpools? Or eddies, or edies, however you pronounce them. Whatever they are. But anyway, this is the village of Sochet. Uh, nothing I care to do here, is there? No, no, not really. So, but I just wanted to pick it up for my warp spell. So now let's head north to another town. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, basically, just get to the western side of the island, and then we'll just head straight north there, I guess. Some people were asking me, because I was talking about, like, a bully from high school. Some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, did you have a bully in high school? Well, yeah, I had my share of experiences, but I actually stood up for myself. Did I ever tell you the dictionary story, viewers? I think I did tell that story once, but, well, for those who didn't know, well, I'll tell it again. But first, I gotta take care of the shrieking eels. No, no, just killer eels. They're easy enough. So, I was in class one time, and there were, uh, th there were these two bullies, right? And they were throwing spitballs at me, or whatever. Something stupid, or so, and the teacher told them to stop, then went on with the lecture, and whatever, his back was turned, they'd just do it again, right? You know, so they were just getting away with it. So, I clearly had to take matters into my own hands. Fortunately, and this, and this is why it's called the dictionary story, fortunately, I had a very, very, very big dictionary on me. So I threw, when the, the guy turned their back, I threw it at them. And 
and, uh, well, that got the teacher's attention, finally, to take the, uh, event seriously. Yeah, high school teachers, they, they really don't, well, maybe nowadays they do, I don't know, but, uh, back in my day, they kind of let people get away with whatever they want, so. But, on the flip side, we did get to leave during, leave the school premise during lunch hour, so that's kind of nice. We got to go out for pizza or whatever. Uh, my best friend actually uh, worked at a pizza joint just across the street from where uh, the high school was. So we got to get a little, like a free slice of pizza for lunch, like once a week or something like that. So that was a nice little perk for, well, my best friend and the rest of us, of course. And some crabs. Now, no, they did not serve crab at the uh, at the pizza place. But I guess they're lobsters or crab. What's the difference between a lobster and a crab? I, I really, I don't know that much about seafood in general, as you might have guessed, viewers. So um, you got me on that one. I don't know what the difference is. Anyway, there's a town that I'm looking for. Frederia. Why don't I get a town named after me? I'm a YouTube celebrity. No, not really. Not even close. I wouldn't want to be that famous. Best I got was to be, uh, King and Terranigma. They killed me off an hour later. But anyway, here you can get a really good weapon, the Grand Blade. Yeah. Uh, you see, uh, well, before I bought that, I had about 100 grand in gold. So, uh, we're, we're gonna really start getting some of the best equipment in the game. Except for, like, the very last town. But other than that, we're gonna get some really, really, really good stuff here. That's why I wanted to make a pit stop here, so. And I wanna buy some new armor. So, let's see what we got. We wanna get two carbo plates. I don't know what carbo is an abbreviation for, viewers. Uh, got me on that one. But anyway, we also wanna get a clear silk there. Uh, let's see. Carbo helm and a carbo cap. Now, the reason I'm not buying two of everything is, well, look at my gold. I only have like 10 grand left, so. And I wanna save that money to buy other things, so. Yeah, we really want, I'm I'm going to post my shopping list in the video description for you viewers, so don't worry about that, but pretty much um, if I didn't buy two of something, it's usually because I am going to find one in the near future, so I don't feel the need to buy it, or eventually. So let's see, we want to get clear silk, carbo cap, okay, I think that's, yeah, yeah, that's everything there. Okay, so yeah, with all these towns that I'm going to, I'm not going to talk to everyone and get all the treasure. Just get the equipment, get the warp spell, and leave. That's it. And get or fight some more killer crabs. Make them deceased crabs. I don't care if they're technically lobsters. I'm going to call them crabs. By the way, one thing I forgot to mention, when you use the defend command, you get your next turn a little faster for some reason. So that's kind of nice. But I do want to keep my HP up. Even these guys can uh, wail on me a little bit. Over here we got some reefs surrounding that town, but that's the only one we can't reach right now. Yeah, you see it's completely surrounded. If only there were a way I could get over there, but I can't. Now whenever you run into a battle like this where you got two enemies in, in one group and then one enemy in another group, uh, Lufia, why didn't I have you use flame, Jared? Okay, well, usually what you should do is have Lufia bolt one of them. Oh, that's why I did that. Okay. Lufia bolt the one, because she could probably one-shot it. Then have everyone else attack the group of two, and you should be fine. Oops. You want to go down here. There it is. Now, for this part, you want to be very careful. The enemies here are very powerful. Okay, come on. Make it. Uh-oh. These guys. They were from the intro. These are endgame type enemies. Uh, where's my silencing spell? Uh, yeah, deflect. You want to use silence on them. Oh, these guys got a ton of HP. I may not be able to kill them because they have champion. And they're exactly the same as they were in the intro. So, uh, ow. Maybe I should try... Ow! Maybe I should try using Confuse or something on them? Or, uh... Well, I tried silencing them, and that didn't work out too well. Maybe I'll get lucky with a bolt spell and finish them off before they can uh, champion 
themselves. Well, at least I got the one, so that's nice. Uh, maybe confuse him? Yeah, uh, Mega Frogs are weak to ice. I'm not gonna list them in the video description there, but uh, well, I'll do what I can there. But yeah, all the enemies here, very, very hard. So, I just wanna pick up this town so that way I can uh, warp there, so that way I don't have to deal with these kind of enemies anymore. Yeah! Got them! And we get a miracle from them, all right. Yeah, you can see how hard they are. They're, those are like end game type enemies. Uh, yeah, I think I might wanna rest up here at the end and then we'll try go exploring more of the world next time on Let's Play Lithia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!